Hi, Pete the Pony here, and he would like to share another one of his amazing stories with you boys and girls. So, Pete, which story are you going to share with us today? Oh, about you going skiing? Now, why did you choose your skiing book? Oh, because winter is coming and you just felt it was a good one to share because winter is coming? Well, Pete, we, me, and the boys and girls out there are so excited you're with us today. But what I need you to do for me is to take a seat, relax, and enjoy your story. Can you do that for me, Pete? Can you do that for me, boys and girls? Okay, Pete, would you like to sit up here? Yeah? Well, you might fall. Ah, don't fall on me. Okay, so he looks comfortable right there. So let's get into his story. Lessons from Pete the Pony, Pete, Go skiing! This book is written and illustrated by Nikki Glandon. Hey everyone, it's me, your buddy Pete. Boy, do I have an adventure to tell you. It's about an exciting time I went skiing. I am sure you are thinking, hmm, a pony skiing? <laughs> That's what I thought too. Then I learned you can do anything you want to do if you put your mind to it. It all began one day when Waylon and I were hanging out together. He asked me if I would like to go skiing with him in Utah. I said, wow, I have never been to Utah or skiing. That sounds like a lot of fun. Let me ask my mom. We galloped off to ask mom if I could go skiing with Waylon. The first thing mom said was, who is the adult taking you boys? I said it was Uncle Brian. She said, okay. He's responsible and will take good care of you. So yes, you may go. Yay, we are going skiing. I am so excited. She then reminded us to be kind, respectful, use our manners, and to show gratitude. Okay. We yelled and ran to pack our stuff. We started our trip to Utah. Along the way, Uncle Brian shared with us that skiing may be frustrating at first, but we would get the hang of it as long as we kept trying. He said, no matter what, we don't give up. Even if you think you are failing, you will always learn. He also told us to remember to stay positive and that we can do anything we put our minds to. Then after a long trek, we made it to Utah where the red rocks and snow were quite beautiful. We were very tired and headed to bed right away so we could get a good night's sleep and be ready for our Big day. We woke up early because we were very excited and thankful to go skiing. First off, we went to rent our ski gear. We made sure to use our manners like please and thank you, just like mom had taught us. Next, 
We ran to grab our lift tickets and off to ski school we went. Our kind instructor had never taught ponies how to ski before, but she smiled and started teaching us how to start and stop. She kept saying, turn your skis like pizza and french fries. Huh. We eat grass, not pizza and french fries. We were so confused. We didn't have any idea what she meant. She explained that pizza meant to put your ski tips together to stop and french fries meant to point them straight to go fast. I've got it, I thought, and down the hill I went. Whee! But I couldn't stop. Even though I knew what pizza and french fries now meant, I couldn't control my skis. I fell over and over again. My skis went everywhere. It looked like everyone else knew how to ski except me. I cried and wanted to give up. I also saw Waylon struggling. He wanted to give up too. I thought, okay, Pete, remember what Uncle Brian said. We don't give up. I ran over to Waylon to help him and gave him a big high five. I said, we can do this, buddy. I asked Waylon, do you remember Uncle Brian's talk about having a positive mindset and that you can do anything you put your mind to? He said, yes, let's do this, Pete. We both kept falling, but we still remembered Uncle Brian's words. You can do anything you set your mind to. So we kept going, trying, getting back up, and then that's when Waylon figured it out and took off down the mountain. I was starting to get the hang of it, but took a deep breath but took a break so I could cheer on Waylon. Go Waylon! After all, mom taught me that even if someone is doing better than me, to be kind and cheer for them. That's when Waylon said, okay, Pete, your turn. You've got this, buddy. His encouragement really helped me to keep trying. Waylon is such a good friend. You can do this, Pete. I took a big breath and said, you can do this, Pete, and headed down the hill. I made it. I did it. We did it. Waylon and I were so happy and celebrated our first day ever skiing. Our instructor was happy too. She was proud of us for not quitting. Since we had been in ski school without Uncle Brian, we were very excited to tell him how our day went. We told him we learned about what pizza and french fries meant and that we kept trying even when we wanted to give up. Uncle Brian said, See boys, you really can do anything you set your mind to. You just have to believe and never ever quit. I am very proud of you. You should be proud too. Keep practicing. It will get easier and be a lot more fun. We were very happy to tell him how much his lesson had helped. We learned to build each other up, that you can do anything you put your mind to and to never ever give up. I hope you remember you can do anything you put your mind to. What do you want to learn to do next? 
And as Pete says, see you in my next adventure. Happy trails, Pete. Oh, Pete, that was an amazing story of not giving up. I'm so proud of you, Pete. How many of you boys and girls love going skiing? And sometimes you may get frustrated as well. Next time you go skiing, think of Pete the Pony and how he didn't give up and he made it down the mountain. If you would like a copy of your own Pete the Pony books, you can order yours at, where is that? What is that site again, Pete? Oh, it's on the back of the book. Oh, wait, no. It's on the inside? Where is it? Oh, here it is www.petetheponey.com Oh, and Amazon? Can we find these on Amazon? And we can find these on Amazon too. How exciting! Well, boys and girls, have a great day and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on Pete the Pony's next story. See you next time.